So, um, in today's video, I've been on TikTok, which I call myself not trying to be on TikTok, but I got on TikTok. But I told y'all that I am missing um, french fries and tater tots and just fries in general. So I've been looking for creative things to cook that are healthy and good. And in today's video, we are making some zucchini tater tots. So I'm waiting on a few of you all to at least chime in before I start everything. This little puberty looking bump, looking like a teen in puberty. Hey y'all, so um, it's one person in here and if I could get you to hit the like button, it's free, it don't cost you nothing. So we are going to be doing zucchini tots. Oh, the one person that was in there got away. So we're gonna do zucchini tots and let me, let me zoom in on the food in case somebody else busts on here and get right off. So, okay, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you saw, hey, Lakeisha girl, we are making, hey, Mama Tish, hey, Vanessa. Okay, let me get on here. I wanted at least to show some food to see, okay. So yesterday, yesterday we did fried zucchini, um, which was pretty good, but I saw another recipe today pop up for zucchini tots, kind of like tater tots, but you making them in the zucchini form. Super easy, super, super, super easy. Hey, so super easy. So I still got one more zucchini left and I want to use this stuff before I go out of town. Plus, tonight I'm making like a, a turkey club with lettuce and turkey bacon and um, mesquite turkey or whatever. So, I'm going to wash off this and we just going to get into it. Um, I try to come to you all and I'm washing this with soap and water because I'm going to be using the entire, um, I'm going to be using the entire zucchini skin and all. And so, I got to make sure this is clean. It came right from a farm. So, I notice when I get stuff from the little farmer's market that I really have to wash it, especially if I'm going to eat the skin on it. And I've been washing this stuff with um, dishwashing liquid. So, I've cooked with zucchini before, like zoodles. And, okay, so I basically got this clean, clean. I've cooked with zoodles and stuff, zucchini before, and if you want to draw out a lot of that moisture, which I should have did yesterday, drawing out a lot of that moisture, you can use um, you can use salt to draw out the moisture. So it's for you all in this life, and if you can do your girl a favor in this life, and if you can do your girl a favor and hit the like button, I'm on my lunch break. This should not take long at all. So what you will need is um, a strainer or just a bowl. You will need a paper towels or a cloth or a cheesecloth or a towel to strain off that liquid. So I'm trying to really save on paper towels. I just washed my dish towels. So I'm gonna drain off the liquid for this in this towel. Um, you will need a cheese grater um, if you have the box kind, you can use that, but I only have this. Um, you will need one egg, which this is my final egg. So I'm glad I have one egg. And then you're gonna need cheese, cherry cheese, me and a vegan cheese are friends now. Um, so I got some Mexican style vegan cheese. And then you will need a little salt to dry, um, Thank you. You will need a little salt to sprinkle on the zucchini to draw out, draw out the moisture. I may or may not use this tonic because when I put the salt on there to draw out the moisture, it's going to be salt from there. So I may or may not use that. You will need um, seasons of your choice. I'm using oregano, onion powder. I don't have any garlic powder. And I'm mad about that. You don't need cooking spray. So, since I'm using the bulk of this zucchini, I'm going to cut the ends off. And 
these should turn out really good. I know they sell veggie tots, but of course, when you get the veggie tots, they have a lot of. Hold on, y'all. I made my French onion dip. It was good, wasn't it? With that Greek yogurt. I told you, girl. So, I'm going to grate. First, I'm going to do it in this bowl. So, you're going to see me just grate this zucchini in here. And you're just going to grate it all the way down. Um, I'm going to show you all what it's looking like. turn the camera around oh lord okay so as you all can see what the consistency is looking like so i'm just gonna continue to shred this i think these are y'all in frame okay I think these will be really good. I know a lot of a lot of like um, Green Giant sells veggie tots, but you know, of course, they have a lot of other ingredients and stuff in it that I really don't want to have. So I'm excited to make these, and I'm also excited that I have all the ingredients. Also, this would be really good for like if you have kids. Okay, it's six of y'all in my live, and if I can get y'all to hit the like button, if after watching this video, my content is something that interests you, then go ahead, subscribe, and join the family. I'm going to be back in a frame in a minute, but as you can see, this is a definite lifesaver. I kind of wish I would have bought the, um, the cheese grater that is a box kind, so it can just drop off in there, but, you know, it is what it is. So, as y'all can see what it's looking like. So, I'm almost done. And I don't know how many this is going to make. But I'm definitely trying to hurry up. I might just do that a little bit. And I might just make the rest of these be like. That seems like that should be enough put the rest of this up okay we're gonna put this to the side so okay so i'm just getting the rest of that access off of there and to draw out the moisture okay what's up to the five people that's in my live all your girl asked is that you hit the like button. So you just sprinkle a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. And then let this sit for a minute and draw out the moisture. Like this is a watery, watery vegetable. So I am then going to transfer this over to, um, I'm just gonna get all of it out of here. And I'm ready to get my towel ready. Because this shouldn't take long at all. The recipe looks fairly easy. So, I'm going to get all of this out of here. And squeeze out as much of this. Are y'all in there? Yeah. Squeeze out as much of this liquid as I can. I'm just all about trying new things. So, let's see how much of this liquid... It's going to actually come out of here. Because I think that was my mistake yesterday. Are y'all in frame? Okay. This is why... Are y'all in frame? Okay. So, as y'all can see, I'm squeezing all of that liquid out of there. Are y'all in frame? Okay. I'm squeezing all of this liquid out. And that salt did help it. Oh, that's a lot of liquid. But I think that was my problem yesterday. But I think these would be really, really good. Also, I saw, I was thinking about grating some carrots. 
and put them in here. Um, I'm pretty sure you can do like carrot tots, broccoli tots. I'm going to try to do a lot of different tots, but this is the liquid that I just squeezed off of the zucchini. And believe it or not, it don't really, it's not really a lot, but okay. So I'm going to get rid of that bowl. And I have another bowl that I'm getting ready to transfer over the zucchini that I just rang all of the water out of. I will also tell y'all, this is a very filling vegetable. Okay, so. As you all can see, I just rang out all of that liquid. So. So, to this, I'm going to season. Are y'all up high enough? I feel like y'all not. Okay. Thank you. I'm trying, girl. So, I'm going to sprinkle some oregano. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Let me raise y'all up a little bit more. I'm trying to do my videos a little bit different to show I ain't really been showing. Okay. Let me bring the light over. Okay. So, I added oregano. I'm adding onion powder. Excuse me. Again, season it to your liking. I will add a little bit of Tony's. And then, in her recipe, of course, she didn't show how much okay good but y'all know i don't like stuff in the background <laughs> so in her recipe she didn't really show how much she was gonna be using but any type of cheese will work this is all i got i got some mozzarella in there but i'm telling y'all i'm hooked on this vegan cheese um so you're going to crack one egg and I'm going to start out with seeing how much one fourth cup cheese is. So I got my measuring cup. Um, I'm gonna measure out one fourth cup. And she did not add, um, so this is one fourth cup. She did not add Parmesan in hers, but I'm adding Parmesan in mine. Let me get my Parmesan cheese. Because I want these to be very cheesy. So for my Parmesan cheese, I'm going to add... This was, I'm sorry, one-third cup cheese. I'm adding one-fourth cup cheese, um, Parmesan cheese. Because she didn't add this, but like I said, I want these to be cheesy tots. So I'm adding one-fourth cup Parmesan cheese. And then... I'm gonna move this out the way. Like I say, the lady, it was one of them little quick little videos. You know, TikTok stuff don't be that long. So I really couldn't get into. I will need this. I just kind of glanced at it and I'm like, girl, you can jazz that up just a little bit. So this is what it's looking like. Hey, so it's 70 y'all in the live. If you're liking this video so far, I'm trying to keep it going. If you can hit the like button for your girl. So we are going to mix up the ingredients. I will use my hand, but I don't want to do that. I don't like the egg. Um, I need gloves, but you kind of see, I'm gonna make sure I mix this up. I might add a little bit more cheese, like shred it, but that might be enough. So since I didn't have this cheese packed in the bowl, I mean, packed in the measuring cup. I'm just going to add a little bit more. I'm also going to add some black pepper. And if these are a hit, y'all, I'm going to be making all types of veggie tots. Okay, so I just added a little bit more cheese. So you all can kind of see the consistency of it. 
make sure you really mix it up because we put that egg in there that egg is gonna be the binder so i believe i got this all done here's my air fryer what she did let me zoom y'all out <coughs> y'all them seasoning <coughs> so what she did she sprayed the bottom of her pan Make sure I continue to mix this. I feel like these are going to turn out like really good. Like I'm eating. I just kind of miss that crunch. So I got enough. Okay. I feel like y'all see the consistency of that. I feel like it's good. So welcome back y'all. Your girl is back. So <laughs> um. So these are all ready. So this will the part where you will have to use your hands now. Oh, I thought I glued that dang on thing back on there. Guess I didn't. <laughs> Guess I didn't. Okay. Guess I didn't. So okay, so I'm gonna show you all what size I'm gonna make these tots. Again, you want them to be tight, so. You're just going to kind of form them into like a little tight. Now, me being me, trying to be all perfect and whatnot. Okay, they're going to kind of be that size. Okay, so I'm gonna make these the best form these the best way I can. They not gonna be perfect. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so I'm just forming these into little tots. Um I feel like they're gonna be really good. So they're not gonna be perfect, which I always try to make something be shaped perfect. And I'm like, girl, you you're not gonna be doing that. I'm only gonna do I could I could do a pretty decent amount of them. So other than that, shout out to um shout out to everyone that's doing the thing, losing weight, trying to stay on track. Like I'm super proud of each and every one of you all. Like improving our health and just staying healthy is the key. Who is that? That's Shamika. Hey girl, I know you're excited about these tots. Um I thought I squeezed enough of that water out of there. That lick was still in there. So, again, this is another recipe that I'm trying. I saw the video this morning. Like I say, um, what did I? Yeah, I saw it this morning. Okay, so I'm going to do one more. And I'm still noticing that I still had to squeeze some of that water out. And when I ate them things yesterday, I was so freaking full. Okay. So, I got them all shaped. They look like little turds, but <laughs> they look like little turds. Okay, let me show you all what they looking like. Uh, I'm going to cook this on 400. So, making those Thai side sharp recipe and last cooking live, I made my whole pumpkin. Oh, you already made some. Cool. Okay. I'm glad to know they turned out good. This is, dang it. Well, they moved, but y'all can kind of see what I did. Keisha, I'm so glad to hear you made these, girl. They move when I, um, so this is what I got them looking like. I only did a little bit of Parmesan on these, but when I make the next batch, I'm adding some more Parmesan. So let's get these in. I'm going to do one more spray. Oh, y'all, I'm so... Ouch! Lord, hold on, y'all. This dang on tripod. I thought I fixed this. Call myself gluing it back on there. That glue didn't even... <laughs> the glue didn't even work. 
do you? Hold on. So, uh, Shamika, I don't get my cycle, girl. If that's what you ask, Nicole does not get her cycle anymore. <laughs> we gonna do air fry for a hundred. Start. Okay, so the first batch did not have that much Parmesan. The second batch will have more Parmesan. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some more Parm in there. I'm excited y'all to try these, like, get into it. Like, I'm really, so Shamika, to answer that question, girl, when you want a snack during your cycle, if I saw that pop up correctly, I need for you to eat fruit. Eat fruit, girl. Eat fruit. So I add a little bit more Parmesan. Oh, yeah. I see what you're talking about, Keisha. It does need more Parmesan. Those still going to turn out good. So I'm excited for these, y'all. Like, they. thank you. They, you know what? I'm hoping they're good. So this is another recipe, and I'm doing straight on live with y'all. Can't nothing be edited. <laughs> Can't nothing be edited or filtered out. But I did want to get this. Um, eat this before I go out of town because I come back. I don't want none of my vegetables going back. So look, that's the consistency once you add more Parmesan. So Keisha, it's good to know that somebody made these and you like them. Have you tried any other vegetables? I'm thinking probably like um, carrot tots may be good. I was going to shred up a little bit of onion in there, but I ain't do it. Baby, this stuff be moving in this air fryer, baby. Oh, they smell good. Let me stop looking at them. Leave them alone. Leave them alone, girl. Leave them alone. <laughs> Leave them alone. So, I'm debating while I'm in here. So, I still got this left. Vegetable cakes, good, too. Oh, vegetable cakes. I've been seeing those. I guess you can still do them low carb. What would you... Because I saw some people today that made some and they use almond flour. I got some almond flour in there. But, um, you know, almond flour is a good alternative from flour. Um, Ashley, y'all know Ashley, my trainer, she was like, see if I could find like a low carb um, cookie recipe. So I'm really going to try that. I keep looking up, make sure they ain't moving. to move y'all they keep moving that's because that air fryer making them move i'll leave these alone and let me cook goodness okay i heard other vegetables i don't know about low carb okay i can see all of them now shamika okay shamika yes i got your text girl i was in training the sandwich with the um pickle i saw that before let's see Vanessa, hey girl, hey. Thank you, Mama Tish. Been here a while, about a year, just quiet. Well, I'm glad to have you, Vanessa. Okay, Lakeisha, I'm making those tots. I shared a recipe in last cooking live. I made mine with Parmesan grated, shredded. Okay, they was good. I'm happy. Can you do a video on how you stay on track on your cycle? Yes, Shamika, girl, I don't get my cycle. Thank God I don't get my cycle no more, but. When you want to snack, eat fruit. Vegetable cakes are good, too. Yes, I got the text you sent me. Okay, you haven't tried other vegetables doing low carb. I use Italian seasoning breadcrumbs. Okay, now, once the month is over, because I'm really seeing good results from doing no carb. <sighs> baby, I'm losing inches like crazy. This is ridiculous. Um, Once the month is over, I will. Those Italian breadcrumbs. They are. It don't matter what brand. You can get the good brand or the the breadcrumbs cousin. They all taste the same. Okay, I thought I had the door closed, y'all. Hold on. I keep looking. I'm just like a kid that be opening the oven when somebody making the cookies or something. I can't leave it alone. They turning out so cute. They turning out really cute. I just want to keep them in a little shape. So I keep going to her messing with them. <laughs> they smell so good. I keep messing with them. Look, y'all. They look cute. I keep messing with them. I need to leave them alone. So I leave. Okay, now I can see what else y'all said. 
Yeah, but like I say, bread, like I used to say, Doritos, Doritos cousin. Yeah, they had to cook for a bit because of the water. I agree. Oh, I bet you them sweet potato ones would be good. I got some sweet potatoes. Do I want to make that tomorrow? Decisions, decisions, decisions. I got some sweet potatoes. So, I could possibly go ahead and cook my dinner for tonight. Like, I need to go to bed early tonight. I don't. I This is my first day. Like, like I told y'all, Wednesdays and Fridays, I don't do anything. But since I leave Saturday, I might be able to go do my training on Friday. That way, I'm only going to miss Saturday's training. No. I'll do Friday's training. Friday training, I will do Saturday's training. I'll do it on Friday, and that means I only miss one day. So Ashley told me to, to contact her, and she'll let me know if I can do that. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and sweet potato tots are really healthy. Sweet potato cakes. Oh, how many weeks should you weigh yourself, girl? I'm obsessed. If I get on scale every damn day, <laughs> I get on there every day. Like I obsessively get on the scale. Hold on, let me get my water. Hold on. girl don't be like me <laughs> i get on the scale every damn day like obsessively now this week i only got on there like twice hold on and i'm mad at myself i ain't been drinking that much water so i'm definitely i've been doing a little bit under a gallon that's not cool so hold on let me put some more ice in here okay. Maybe I'll make you know what? Tomorrow, chicken wings and um, sweet potato tots. That sounds good. Oh, let me put some more of this water in here. I want to show y'all what it's looking like so far. Oh, they are so cute. Oh, my God. They're so cute. They're cute. I'm going to pretend my food is cute. I don't want them to touch it. I'm definitely going to cook these longer because I want them crispier. Let me show y'all what they look like. They look so cute. Hold on. Look how cute they are. They turning out perfect. Like, I'm going to definitely keep these in there. See if I can let y'all kind of see. They still soft, so I want them harder. They turning out really cute. So, I'm just ready to put that back up to 400. I'm going to put it back up to 20 minutes. Y'all, don't them look cute? I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. Like, I'm so excited for those. So, tomorrow I'm going to eat chicken wings and sweet potato tots. I'm on a tot mission now. Like, it's just doing, doing no carb at all is making me be super creative on things to eat. Don't tell me my breakout room's over. How long I gonna be on this live? Dang. These better hurry up so I can get them done for my lunch over. But <laughs> I'm being super creative with like the stuff that I'm eating. I ain't gonna have time to make my dinner for later. It ain't nothing but cooking this turkey bacon, which ain't gonna take long anyway. But this is just making me be super creative. Shout out to Jessica, girl. Jessica, yesterday you told me. That's one of my Get Sexy Movement sisters. Yesterday she told me that she made the carrot fries and they was really good. So I was like, girl, I'm happy to hear that. She was like, I ain't had no baking powder. I said, that's okay, girl. You don't need baking powder. I just be trying to use baking powder, you know, just because. But tomorrow I'm going to make chicken wings and um, sweet potato tots. I'm going to shred the sweet potatoes tonight. Um... Yeah. Oh, oh, they look so good. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about these. Like y'all have, y'all do have an idea how many times I go in there, open them up. 
they look so good they so freaking cute and they smell amazing they smell so good these gonna be so good tonight with my um y'all want these things crispy they look so good like i'm so excited about these so yeah, Jessica told me she made the carrot fries and I was like, girl, when they good? So what I've learned this whole, what are we going on? 18 days, you might as well say two and a half weeks. What I've learned about doing low carb or no carb is that I feel better. I'm not as bloated and you know, carbs got a lot of gluten and stuff like that. A lot, excuse me, a lot of products, which I'm not, I don't have a gluten allergen, but just, you know, not eating carbs and replacing a carb with a vegetable, I'm noticing that I'm not bloated. Yep, fried pickles are good in the air fryer too. I haven't made, I haven't tried carrot bacon. Um, How you do low carb fried pickles, I haven't tried that. excited about these i'm so excited about these the rest of these i'm gonna have to do them off camera because my lunch gonna be open in a minute and like i got about i got about 25 minutes i set alarm on my phone because i get in here and run in my mouth baby it won't be no lunch break i want to say these are done because i don't want them to get burnt burnt these are done so let me show you all what they look like. You see how perfect these turned out? So I'm ready to take them out of here and put them on the plate. Baby, I cannot wait to taste it. I'm not going to taste it right away because I've been burning my damn mouth. But let's take these out. I got some little tongs. Definitely need these to cool out. Baby, I've been in burn my damn mouth. <laughs> okay. They are freaking perfect. Course presentation is everything. Let me get them lined up on the plate correctly. They are so cute. Hit a like for your girl for making these. Look at them. Look at them. They are still hot. Look at them. These are so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. Now you can dip these in ketchup. You can dip them in marinara. You can dip them in ranch. You can dip them in anything you want to. Don't these freaking look good. I'm going to make the rest of them. Thank you. Is that how yours look? Do y'all know how excited I am? Do y'all know how excited I am that they turned out perfect and I ain't had no trial and error day like yesterday? <laughs> but I'm going to make the rest of these. So I'm really... Oh, I see what you're saying about more Parmesan. It makes it stick together a lot better. Definitely. Definitely. The lady didn't do Parmesan. Thank you, girl. See, Keisha, you are so correct. When you add more Parmesan, they stick better. Thank you, kindly girl. I am so excited that y'all are joining me on this chapter of my life. And Keisha, girl, they stick together good when you add more Parmesan. 
Oh my goodness. We gonna be so healthy and we gonna be so, thank you girl. We gonna be so healthy and fit before this year is over. All of us though, are we on our eating healthy kick? And like I say, Shamika, I know you was a little um, upset about yourself. I'm gonna tell you like this. I might end up probably eating something this weekend and I'm not supposed to eat. But you know what? The next day, I'm gonna just start over. Like I say, don't be too hard on yourself if you end up um, eating something that you're really not supposed to eat or you kind of go off track. Like, never be too hard on yourself because everybody is human. We all make mistakes. But don't feel like, you know what I'm saying, you messing up and you ate some chips or something. Oh, that's the texture. Don't feel bad, girl. Keisha, girl, look how they... Baby... We gonna be so snatched and fit. Shout out to all y'all that's losing weight. That's the that's the the good thing about you know the body. Everybody is different. We might you know what I'm saying we are all encouraging each other to eat healthier and stay on track. But Shamika, I never want you to go by the scale. Now that's easier said than done. I'm obsessed with the scale. Thank you. I'm obsessed with the scale, but what I would say is never solely go all the way by the scale because <clears throat> inches, hummus. Oh, you know what? I got a bad experience with hummus. So the first, first time, the first time I had it, my first time eating hummus, tore my stomach up. <clears throat> but... Hummus is good, but the first time I had it, no, I'm thinking about pumpkin, never mind. Hummus is good, but I only like the one that got like olive oil and I think garlic or something like that. Okay, it's time for a taste test. Oh my gosh, so good. It's good that you eat cleaner. It's a process. <laughs> These are so These are so freaking good. Calm down, Nicole. Calm down. Those are so freaking good. They so good. Zucchini tots. Get into them. Now, granted, they're a little bit bigger than the tot. Get these to your kids. I promise you they will eat them. I'm trying not to eat them all. Baby. Baby. These are zucchini tots. I shredded the zucchini with a cheese grater. Those are freaking delicious. Baby! <laughs> Only cheese I had on hand was some vegan cheese. And I used some Parmesan cheese. Get into how these are so so good if you don't do if you don't make nothing i ever show you you need an egg parmesan cheese you don't even have to use cheddar cheese i just did it because the lady on tiktok did it and i could have just did parmesan cheese <laughs> when i tell you and if you even wanted to go a little extra step you could turn them over I ain't even turn them over. <laughs> it 
Your girl is on to something. Oh, y'all can see my cheekbones. Your girl getting, oh, your girl. Keisha girl, let's see what you said, Keisha. My problem is sugar and lack of sleep. That's what keeps my weight on. Keisha. Frozen grapes. Those kind of do natural sugar. I feel like you probably can do natural sugar. Me and frozen grapes are like clouds and sun. Sky and the clouds. I don't know. Oh no, you don't want to stick together. You better uh, you better separate. They trying to mesh together as one. You better separate in this air fryer. Nobody told y'all to join in together. You trying to join in together. You know the air fryer be making stuff clump together because that air. I to get them don't do that. Don't be hard on yourself though. Oh, yeah, girl. Look. Now, just cut that off. Look at them guns. Look at them guns. Like, all it is, like, y'all know I gotta show y'all a body shot. Look at this. How I'm just getting smaller now? Baby. Like, look at this. Like, every morning when I get up, I look at this. I like it. That's starting. To, I can see this. I never used to be able to see this. It's even getting smaller. She really got me doing. I do that weight stuff. I do a lot of stuff like this. All of this is getting. At this rate, if we keep coming up with these healthy recipes, baby. There's somebody's son or somebody's daddy or possibly somebody's granddaddy. Like, get into it, sir. I'll make sure you stay healthy because I'm going to make sure you eat right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, look at these. Them turned out good, too. I'm so happy that these turned out right. I'm so happy that y'all joined my lives. I... I get a joy, I get a kick and a joy out of cooking. I'm really excited for this bacon. I got it from Target. Apple smoke uncured turkey bacon. I like when the turkey bacon kind of look like ham. This has turkey raised with no added antibiotics or hormones. Um you can do it in the oven, the stove top, or the microwave. No carbs at all. No carbs. So I'm going to make a club, which I told y'all already. I know y'all like, girl, you already told me that. It's going to be a lettuce sandwich tonight and those delicious tots. They not going to make it. Just like these that I got from yesterday, them fried zucchini, about to get put in there and I'm gonna eat them. Hmm? I'm gonna eat those. So, but yeah, doing these kind of exercises, like lifting stuff, that's how I'm noticing that I'm really getting like, girl, I just keep checking these, these are like, I am impressed at how these turned out. Like, I have to keep separating them because they got the nerve to try to play this ain't time for play. We got to eat y'all. Y'all need to cook evenly. Don't stick together and don't be fighting. Like, don't fight. They fighting. Y'all have to break them up. See, I have to break them up because they was being bad. I had to separate them because they kept sticking together. Baby. If these things ain't bomb, shh. I, I'm just excited. The sweet potato one's gonna be super good because, girl, if I made a little glaze to dip them in, oh, what am I gonna eat tomorrow? I said chicken, but I don't know if I'm gonna feel like chicken. I might just, better yet, I'm probably gonna make chicken. But yeah, I'm excited to make my little club tonight, so. 
Um, I like getting my lunch meat from the deli because it doesn't have carbs. You know, this stuff got all them extra, extra mess that they put in there to preserve it. But I ain't go to the grocery store, grocery store. But yeah, y'all, I'm telling you, like, I ate, I ate super early today. So I can't, I would have, you know, I wouldn't be starving when I made this video because... <laughs> I didn't want to eat them all like I did yesterday. I'm taking my multivitamin. I'm ready to quit. Okay. They still want to fight. That's okay. Nobody told y'all to fight. Turn these over. They want to fight and make a gathering. Nobody told y'all to do that. I want to flip these over too. But trying to do that probably gonna be doing the most though. I am so happy at how these turned out. How these turned out. I can't wait to get my nails done. And baby, these caterpillars on my face. <laughs> I am so happy. Now I need a cute little something to put these on, like a platter or something. I don't have any little platters. But they turned out so good. So in a minute, I will be taking these out. I'm gonna get them plated up. And then I gotta go back to work. When I tell y'all I timed this perfectly, I timed it perfectly because I my lunch is almost over. I actually didn't get on here right at my lunch break. So it's actually almost over. I'm going to end up using these probably to make some more of these tomorrow. I'm going to mix it with the carrots. Not the carrots. I'm going to mix it with the sweet potato and make sweet potato. Um, I'm going to make sweet potato zucchini tots tomorrow with my chicken. So we're going to plate these up. It's so many of them that my alarm just went off. My break is over, so we're gonna go ahead and plate these up. I could be a little quick with it. Um, I'm actually gonna have to use a real plate. My alarm just went off. My phone, like, girl, my break is over. These things are addictive. They are so addictive, my goodness. Of course, when I take them out of there. I like that when you take them out of there, you can smash them up into little uh, pot form, and then when they cool off, they'll already be in here like that. Bit of parsley because that's my business. Oh, they cute. Okay, let me show y'all. I'm gonna have to start giving me a cute little platter. Take out. Come on. 
Come on, out of, get out of there. Let me take y'all to the table. Okay, so I do appreciate each and every one of y'all that stayed on my live to see the tots. Boom! They look good. Look at that, y'all. They look so good. They are zucchini tots. Get into it. Get into it. Get into it. Get into it. The zucchini tots, some are bigger than others. They're cousins, not twins. So I hope y'all enjoy my life. Your girl made some tots, and they are good. So... <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in. I hope y'all enjoyed the live. I hope this inspires you to get out and eat more vegetables. Be creative when you eat vegetables. And just the possibilities are freaking endless. If you got any recipes that you all want me to try, then comment them below. Add them to the, one of my videos. I'm willing to try it all. Look at your girl, though. Oh, your girl. <laughs> so thank y'all for again for watching. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Uh-oh. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Bye.